so a little bit about like equipment selection. I'm just thinking guys that are out there that, you know, they're married, have a bunch of kids, like probably a majority of the people that are out shooting. Yeah. Um, and they're just trying to get into it. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what's, what's the most important piece of equipment other than the rifle and, uh, and your bipod? Because that's probably mm -hmm. hands down the most. What, what other piece of equipment is, is the most influential in so equipment that's not attached to the rifle or like a uh, supplementary piece of equipment? Supplementary. Just okay. anything that's going to help you Pretty get those hits. Yeah. Okay. So if it was attached to the rifle, um, I would say a quality optic and, you know, good rings because if you don't have a good optic, then that, you know, rifle that you have, no matter how expensive it is, it just isn't going to shoot repeatedly. Um, but as <coughs> for the, sub, you know, any kind of gear that goes along with it, I would say a good rear bag. Um, you can, depending on the type of rear bag, you can run it as a front rest, you know, if you're shooting off barricades or rocks or anything like that. And just, it, it, you can use it for anything. So for that front rest, you can use it as a rear rest, um, use it as a pillow, <laughs> I guess, depending on, on how big of a, a bag you get. Right now I've been playing with the Solo Sack from Short Action Precision. Um, it's filled with, it's a heavier bag, so it's kind of interesting to watch how the bags have developed over the years. So. We kind of all started out heavy, heavy rear bags, and then we gradually moved over to light bags with the little micro beads. And now we're starting to drift back to the heavier bags again, uh, running them off barricades and that sort of thing. So it's a heavier bag. It's got kind of a, I think it's a synthetic sand, some kind of fill. Um, so I can run it off a barricade for the front of the rifle and it'll keep it really steady. Um, and it's also not so big and clunky um, that it gets in the way when I'm running it as a rear bag. So it kind of pulls double duty and it helps cut down on the stuff that I, I bring around. And, I, and I've never really been one to bring around a whole lot of bags. I was um, gonna say, do you have a quiver of bags? That you yeah, have? no, <laughs> um, you know, bags are just like anything, they're a tool, but uh, I see a lot of people come out and, you know, newer shooters like we were talking about, and they have all the bags under the sun because that's what they see shooters using on the internet or that's what their buddy told them to get. And I'm not saying that there, there's anything wrong with that, but I'm, the point that I'm trying to get at is don't get something that you don't use or don't know how to use. Or if you do get it, you know, put the time in, put in some dry fire at home, just playing around with different positions and seeing how those different bags can give you a better position. 